Hello, my name is Paul Ho from iCompello. Today I'll share with you what is Sora. For those who want to find out more about home loan report iCompare loan or mortgages or refinancing, you can click on to the uh, website link, SMS me or scan the QR code. Solora stands for Singapore Overnight Rate Average. It is the overnight rate where the bank lend to each other, typically for one day. Banks always have uh, fluctuations of funds. Sometimes they have extra funds for one day, two days, or some other days, right? So they have all these hundreds of millions of dollars floating around. And how do they make full use of it? They will lend to each other where they do not need it yet, right? So they may lend 50 million, 100 million, or 200 million to each other, and the other participating banks may want to bid for it where they need the money for their short-term funding purposes. So why use the overnight rate? I think the main purpose of using the overnight rate as an index is because of its liquidity. Okay, because if I tell you I will lend you money for one day or one year, I typically will be more comfortable to lend you money for one day uh, as compared to one year, right? The main reason is very simple. If I lend you money for one day, then uh, I have ample liquidity, right? Imagine the banks are able to lend to each other for one day, meaning the overnight trade. That means there is a lot of lending uh, between each other. When there's a lot of lending among each other or many different banks, that means this market is very fluid, very liquid. And if it is very liquid, then the rates are the least likely to be manipulated because the volume is very large. So Singapore Overnight Rate Average or SORA is the volume weighted average rate Volume weighted, okay, that means it must be uh, based on volume. The one that has the most volume will tend to have the one that the one that has the the most uh, skewed towards, okay? It is the transactions held in Singapore dollar cash market between 8 a.m. and 6.15 p.m. The benchmark rate is published on MAS website uh, in the statistics uh, section. Um, since 6 August 2020, MES also publishes the compounded SORA for one month, three month, and six month tenures. Certain conditions must be met. The reporting banks must conclude uh, arm's length eligible transactions. Eligible transactions means there must be sufficient data on that day, or else they will be using contingent data to supplement this data. Okay, so minimum number of reporting banks with eligible transactions must be 5 or minimum number of eligible transactions must be 10 whereby the minimum volume of eligible transactions must be 500 million and so on, right? As um, MS imposes this, there may be additional conditions to come. Let's go through the, a little bit the concept of Singapore overnight rate average with the volume weighted average. Assuming that Bank A, Bank B, and Bank C, these are the interest rates where they trade or they sell to the market. Bank A gives out $1 million at 1.5%. Bank B, 1.9% at 100000 Bank C, 2.5% at 10000 The average of these three interest rates is actually 1.97. But do we take 1.97? No. We will take the volume weighted average of 1.545% because this one has the highest weightage, right? 0 0.9 weightage, 0 0.09, 0 0.001 weightage. So this volume weighted average forms that particular day's SORA. Okay? So, um, of course, that is the, the day itself, right? So that is the SORA overnight rate uh, for that day. But of course, the SORA overnight rate average will be average over the prevailing 90 days. So if we look at this rate, uh, this is the SORA overnight rate 
only, not the Sora overnight rate average. If you want to look at the average, it has to be the one prevailing 90 days, right? You will see that further up that uh, 90 days and to work out what is this figure, okay? So that one is more complex, huh? So if we look at the rate, that one rate that we put in, we put in this rate and this percentage, let's say this is the arrived at the uh, 1.545 is the Singapore overnight rate average already over the prevailing 90 days, right? The prior 90 days before here, right? Prior to here, 90 days, this is the rate. And then prior to here, 90 days, this is the rate. Then this rate itself is the average, is the per annualized rate, right? So if you want to work it to the daily rate, you have to divide by uh, the uh, 365 or 360, depending on what is their, their formula, right? And then convert it to a factor. And then all this factor will compound it over 30 days, right? If you were to put $10,000 or $1 million here, you make this interest, this interest, this interest, this interest over 30 days, that will be the compounded SORA one month compound, compounded rate. And then of course, SORA three months, SORA six months, right? Luckily for us, MAS publishes the SORA one month compounded, three months and six months compounded. So we do not have to work it out ourselves. So SORA is not forward looking, right? Like I said, SORA is um, reactive, right? So it looks back on the past 90 calendar days. Right, Sora is the simple average over 90 days of every one of the days where they, there is a uh, average. If there is a Saturday, Sunday or public holiday, so the Sora rate will be that of the previous working day. So what is Sora compounded? Sora compounded, as I mentioned, is that Sora average for that day, plus that day, plus that day, plus that day, it goes on and on. To for 30 days, that is the and then you compound the returns that you get per day for that 30 days. That is the Sora compounded 30 days. Okay. So that's all for uh, what is Sora. Okay, for those who want to uh, find out more about home loans and refinancing, do uh, scan the QR code or text us at 9877-2949. Thank you very much. My name is Paul Ho from iCompareLoan.com.